They're going to talk a little bit about the transition, um, where we go from here. Um, but I have to tell you guys that um, it is done as a call from God, I feel. I believe deeply. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. It's not done out of anger or frustration or anything like that. It's done out of this is where God is calling the experience and KTSY and Brian and Michelle. And um, I, I believe that from and I solicit your prayers from the ministry and station as well as obviously your deep prayer and driving force and life and the experience. Because you guys are the church. It's not. Never happened. Thank God it's not this building, so it has to be. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I want you to know that and um, talk about what we love about transition and, and moving forward. Um, and uh, probably um, the week after camp meeting on the 19th will probably be a transition week. I don't want to that details, but tell me what we're looking at right now. Um, one of these, my last weekend here is this past week. Yes. Uh. Hi, Ron. Thank you. Um, I appreciate Brian's ministry. I appreciate that he said yes to God. I think the community at large is going to benefit from his ministry and his yes I mean, just think of the wacky thing he's done with us. Can you imagine the loose in the community? <laughs> it's going to be awesome. I jotted some notes down during the first service that I just thought would be fitting to talk about. Has our church or does our church ever fit into a mold? Say no. no. We are a church of action. We always have been. Hey, guess what? Our quarterback got traded. <laughs> but the head of our team is Christ. Jesus is the head of our team. And that's who we follow. And that's who we trust in. And that's part of our journey together now. So with great change, and great challenge comes great opportunity and in the end great blessing. And I believe with all my heart, Jesus will rise up. Some of you folks, you're hearing his voice right now. To jump in and to help and to become part of that body that moves. Brian and I met a few weeks ago, and I had no information or knowledge about um, the changes that were going on behind the scenes, but I, I told Brian probably more firmly than I ever have before, Brian, you're doing too much in this church. I had no idea how much influence I had on him. <laughs> I just heard this news last night, and so I know a lot of you are processing it right now and wondering what is in store for the experience. Change can be scary. Uh, we go through change in our personal lives. We go through change at work. And now we're going through some change here at church. And I was scared last night. I didn't sleep real good last night. I was awake. I was thinking. I spent a lot of time praying because I didn't know what to do. I, I hate not having answers. And um, that, that makes me a little uncomfortable. And But as I was pondering in the middle of the night and early this morning. Um, I remembered back to all the times that I felt scared in my life and the situations that I was in. And I was comforted by remembering that God has never let me down in those situations, no matter how ugly it got. And I was really encouraged by that. I have a, a poster in my office um, I've got several in there, but one of them says change on it in big letters. And there's a picture of a winding road going through the mountains. And the little doodad on the bottom of it, the little motto that it has there says, the, the bend in the road 
is not the end of the road unless you fail to take the corner. Change is good. It can be painful sometimes, but it's good. And our church is part of the Seventh-day Adventist organization, and locally here at The Experience, we have a leadership group, a team of people that have been working with Brian for the past several years, making decisions, making plans, giving direction to where we're going. And our conference has the same type of an organization. They know what we're doing here at The Experience. We have great support from them. And they've already engaged and begun the process of helping us find uh, a new pastor to lead us on, to be our coach, to be the, the team uh, mentor here. And so leadership team will be meeting again this coming week and selecting, uh, what are we calling it? A, a, a search team, actually, um, that will work with the conference to begin identifying people that can be our new pastor. So that's that's where we're headed right now and we're wanting to get that going as soon as we can. Um, I'm excited for Brian's new move because he is a guy that likes to take on big adventures and the experience was not something that he asked for when he moved here. Um, but a big adventure was presented to him by the conference and he said no, 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 and, and he took it. And he's been with us. Our church structure is such that pastors don't live and die usually in the same church, they move on. And this is a normal progression and we're excited for Brian's next big adventure. And I think the leadership team and as Kathy said, some of you here that may not even think of yourself as leadership might soon rise up to the challenge that God has laid down for us and be used by Him to help this church do great things. You may have read my um, financial newsletter that I sent out this last week if you were on your email and one of the things I mentioned in there is how big God dreams. I think this right now is one of his dreams and when I wrote that I had no idea what kind of a dream he was dreaming but I'm excited about it. I hope you are too and um, just hang on it's going to be fun. Yeah.